Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome back to The Shed, where we are just going to write a bit of music. I have absolutely no idea what we're going to do. Um, for those of you who are new to this channel, hello, welcome, you're particularly welcome. Um, what we do is, I'm Guy Mitchell Moore, I'm a film and television composer, I've done lots of films, lots of television, I've worked for Marvel quite a lot, and bits of Disney and DreamWorks and all those kind of things, I've done documentaries, comedy, action sad happy whatever you want and i just write a bit of music and talk you through it and we have a chat in the comments underneath so remember to subscribe and then you'll come back and see more of this stuff now what i thought we'd do today look i just stuck this into google and a random genre generator what fun is this okay shall we try what movie genre we'll decide it says okay and whatever it comes up with i'm going to score and within an hour or well, probably half an hour in your terms, uh, we'll have a finished piece of music which will address one of these genres. Are you ready? Okay, let's hear what's going to come up. Action! <gasps> okay! <laughs> action! Oh. I was hoping for something... Okay, action! I will now be inspired with action. Right, so action music... Uh, is a bit more formulaic, so it's not always that hard to get going. Um, like, we need a uh, we need a tempo which is going to be nearer 140 beats a minute. Uh, I, I normally try and leave the tempo until I've had an idea first, but frankly, with action, we need to start around there, and then we can get going. Oh, let's put the start there. Okay. Turn on that, turn on the grid, right. Traditionally, okay, there's lots of different type ways of approaching action, but there's a very traditional way, uh, which is basically drums, ostinato, bubbly synth, and a bit of brass. Uh, so let's see how quickly we can do that. Hang on, have you subscribed yet? Um, silly, of course you have, um, but some of you haven't, so please give it a little click and then we'll whiz into your inbox next time I do one of these things. Okay, uh, what are we going to start with first? What do I normally start with? Um, you know, it's not as though I haven't done this a thousand times. Um, okay, let's get contact up, uh, add the contact in, and go to some spiccato strings. Uh, now, you will find, if you do do action, uh, actually, uh, smaller sections give you a better bite than big ones. Big ones can be a bit flobby, whereas that's not tight enough. I normally start with, okay, spiccato. This is a very traditional way of doing it. Um, we will do another version of this actually some point in the near future because I'm quite keen on doing a, trying to do action differently. I was going to do action some other time, but the damn wheel to side thing came up and said. Very, very hard to come up with an ostinato that hasn't been come up with a thousand times before. Let's just start like this and see where it goes. Don't start in the middle of the bar, you complete pillock. Okay. Okay, now we'll add, okay, so this. Some people get very, very upset that I keep on creating new um, contacts. Um, frankly, I just don't care because with one or two instruments, it just doesn't make a blind bit of difference. Uh, okay, I'm, I'm just using ensembles to get the idea up and running and I want some colenios now. Uh, col. That's not bad. Nice and powerful. That is a bit quiet. I'm not loving it. Uh... 
Okay, quite like that. Now, let's go in and see what it looks like timing-wise, because action needs to be really, 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 really tight on the beat. And a lot of the time, what you're going to end up doing eventually is miles out, um, is bouncing it to audio, turning all this MIDI into a little audio file, and then um, tightening it all up. You've got to get, with action, you've got to get the kind of basic underpinnings. Uh, the foundations of the thing right, and then you can do all the kind of big crash bang wallop percussion and all the rest of it on the top. If this bit isn't right, you may as well quit and start again. There's got to be something interesting in here, and what's interesting here is not the do 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 do, which is a bit Batman Begins. It's the Colin. You did. It's interesting because it's going miss. It, it's 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 come. It's missing the first. Why can I never think of the word for this? Anyway. Okay, so the the it comes in. It's sort of syncopated, so it comes in on this on the offbeat. <laughs> or whatever. Am I giving the game away? <laughs> I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, Cole leg. Okay, but I quite like that. So, um, do we need a synth in here yet? Uh, are we going to add bubbles? We're going to add bubbles. I'll have some bubbles, please. Thanks very much. Yes. Uh, let's go for Repro 1. Uh, is it pronounced Yu Hei? I don't know. Uh, Mr. Yu Hei. Anyway, we like your stuff. It's great. Uh, I often. <laughs> what I frequently do. Uh, it's a bit loud. Is actually stick it in just an ordinary sustained note and then put a choppy thing on the top. A choppy plug in like uh, Transgating from Killer Hearts is my favourite. That one. You've seen me use this before. Uh, how about a bit of distortion? We could automate that. Quite like this. There's no harmonic movement in it. It doesn't need to be yet, um, because the harmonic movement's going to come from other things which do other stuff. Uh, right, well, I want another sound in there that's doing what the um, that underlying string thing is doing. I'm in two minds about this, but I was thinking of trying a solo string to make it even smaller, and then potentially retiring the ensemble. Uh, so this is um, cinema Cinematic Studio solo strings which is very nice library, which I've uh, talked about before. Okay, so it's a staccato. Quite like that. C S S S. Now, save your work, guys. Save your work. Save your work. Okay, I will. Now you're telling me to. Right, so what we've done so far is we have just, we've got a little very simple, slightly derivative. Um, do, don't do two things at once. I am not the king of multitasking. So I can't talk to you and save the file at the same time. Isn't that pathetic? Okay, right. So what we've done so far is we started with this little very simple um, Spitfire chamber ensemble. Then we added the bit which I really like. 
Symphonic Strings Colenus. Then I added the Repro. And now I've just put some solo strings on the top of it. Okay, now we need some, now we need to start adding some percussion. I'm going to put four layers of contact on here. I don't need to do that. Again, it may be actually simpler just to do one and have. Okay, here we go. We're going to call this percussion perk. And we're going to add some MIDI tracks underneath it. And then that'll be that. Perk one to four. Uh, turn off the same. And that's fine. So, right. What are we going to load up here? Um, so, there's lots of go-tos in the world of percussion. Um, probably the strongest contender is a go-to. Well, what I'm actually looking for... Master sessions, I really like master sessions. Ensemble drums, I would like, first of all, I want a, a relatively small one. Uh, low drums, snares, turn, uh, uh, Tom's high. What's Tom's high going to be there? No, not for me. Ensembles, metal, ensemble drum, ethnic. That's the one I thought I was in. And I wasn't. It's because the interfaces all look the same. Okay, uh, heavy, low, high ensemble. That's the one I want. I'm looking for a little um, ethnic -y. crescendo over two bars what I'm looking for is something which just fades in and out I thought that might be quite nice um, and it might be or it might be rubbish like so many things in life um, the other thing we should say here and this comes back to all those many of you who say I don't know how to develop my ideas um, don't throw all your best ideas in at once like I've done <laughs> okay you can we don't need to put the whole thing going at the same time we need let's have a so let's start with this then we're going to bring that in Okay, I'm not sure that's the right idea. I've, I've gone off the idea. There you go. Whoosh! Goodbye idea. I think it's time for a word from our sponsor, which is me. How to Score Films is my online course that takes you through every step of the process. We give you downloadable movies to score and lifetime access to your course materials. You'll learn how to talk to directors, spot the film, sync up movies in your door, how to score to picture, make changes and deliver your final music. So click the link below and get started right now. So we're going to start with, we can easily bring in something low and brooding at the beginning and then... Um, right, let's change our mind on the percussion uh, and give in to the need for something big. Um, creature of habit, uh, master session ensemble drums, low or tight. Uh, low tight, let's do tight. Let's try that. When you're doing drums, low drums move slowly, high drums move fast. So you, you don't want the low drums going... That was a long wait for something very disappointing. Um, now we're going to add something else to this. I'm not convinced by that either yet. I can spend a long time getting this right or wrong. Mainly wrong, a heavy acidity. What else have we got going on? 
Let's go for the low, heavy frame drum ensemble. Okay, so what we've done, we, we're using these uh, on 16ths um, to run up to the each of those uh, bass drum beats. That's alright, that's quite nice. Okay, less convinced by that one. Uh, get rid of that. So, dun dun dun. Take the volume down a bit. Okay, that's frame drums. You need, you end up building up, like, just like any other piece of orchestration, quite a lot of layers with percussion. Um, so I want a yet another one. I want something else doubling that up. Um, and I want something vaguely different. I want something quite different to that. That's a fairly straight sort of sound. Let's see what damage has to offer. Percussive kits. Uh, epic organic drums. Studio rotor toms, snares, tom sticks, toms mallets, tom sticks. Octobands kick drums, uh, church kick drums. That's not gonna do it, is it? Strike force, here we go. Let's go for uh, big drums, hybrids. What have we got? Pitch drum, puncher, stacker. Okay, let's, let's try stacker. It's good, but I need something faster. Uh, small drums. I wonder what their idea of small drum is. Storm a wide ensemble. I'll go with that. Very wet as ever. I have to turn the wetness down. Right, so what we're going to do, we'll use this. So what I've got going on is I'm literally doubling up. So I'm sort of producing a different salt. And now I go. And now I go in there and sort out all these little tiny, tiny details which make a big difference to it sounding great or rugged. So we're going to start. We're going to start make it more dynamic by taking the whole thing down a bit. last few just before the drum make a big difference okay that's all right okay so we're also going to add some impacts and things like that to that um but also uh we're gonna one of the th okay let's try with that one one of the things you can do is uh with your epic percussion is use um, the grid editor uh, the drum editor okay so here we go look what we're going to do is add these um 64th notes in i mean these 30 second these 30 second notes in so it'll go rum at the end do you see what i mean actually it may be better just on the last beat That's the one. We can maybe add a few. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, that works. Um, now we need um, uh, something else. Save your work. Let's see what happens if I add 
instrument. Let's go to play. Let's be bold. Ministry of Rock, I quite like Ministry of Rock. Apart from anything else, it's good for um, sort of more sound designery things because it's quite a process sound. Ministry of Rock 2, guitars, heavy guitars, Schecter 7 string, baritone coming, uh, Gibson Les Paul 7 string, lead, elements, hard vib, non vib, scream bend up. <laughs> scream bend up! Okay. And then we're going to mess with it. I'm also going to do... Okay, now, save my work. Having done that, I'm going to bounce it to audio. Where are you, bouncy thing? Here we go, render in place, that'll do. Because it's the same thing. And now... Let's process, process, okay. All right, that'll do. Right, so we've got two there. And I'm going to... One of them is a fifth lower. I mean, not a fifth lower, it's what of a third lower. So what I thought I might do with that one is pitch it up so it gets longer and a bit more weird and distorted. Processes, pitch shift. So we want to go from, what was it? I went down to the C from the E, so I need to go back mm -hmm. up. Uh, so I'm going down a major third, is that right? Let me think. What? No, I'm going up a major third, that's it. Uh, no, is that right? I played a C, it sh what we wanted an E. Oh, so I'll do that and I'll knock it down an octave and I won't time correct it and that'll be great. And let's see what that sounds like. Now what you can do is uh, take that, oh, let's copy it across. Now one of them is going to go, one, we're going to pitch one down and not the other, so they'll go out of tune. Uh, so we take the envelope time this time, reset, and let's have it drifting down like that. It's quite loud, sorry everybody. Right. Very phrasy at the beginning, isn't it? I quite like that. I'm not sure I 100% like that, but okay, let's try dragging him out time wise. So we're gonna. Turn it down a bit, turn him down a bit. I'm not absolutely convinced that that's worked, to be brutally honest. Passage of time. We've added a couple more bits. Let's have a look. Okay, now we need uh, a rather more convincing bottom end to this. Um, so the drums, percussion, wherever that is, we're going to need a really... <sighs> it's, an, it's an oldie but a goodie. There's lots of big, good, really big, huge bottom end um, drums. Um, if you want that one which just sort of shakes your teeth out, you know what I'm going to say! So we need to go to Easter Island. Oh! Did I hear somebody lose a tooth?
Okay, and at that point, every time you do one of these, these sort of hissy things, we need to bring in another element. Um, there's a lot missing from this, and this is why action takes so long. But um, <clears throat> what we're missing, predominantly, I think, is some big brass thing. Um, so let's just get something going. Let's go back to Metropolis. I need some sort of really aggressive, unpleasant little staccato. Let's try that. See if that's unpleasant enough. Yes. I want it to I've got to get something going with those. Brass stack. Okay. Um let's maybe add a bit more piano to it. Quite like something slightly. We haven't changed key. Um, we haven't changed key at all, which is what's making it slightly static. At the end, though, it's got to line up with the piano. It's got to line up with the drums, um, so it's going to go nearly there. We are nearly there. Okay. We're there. That's it. Bit of mixing. That was a boring bit, so we cut it out. A performance. Right, we're done. And uh, in my real time, it's taken just a, it's taken an hour, as I said it would. Um, and in your time, it's taken around half an hour. Oh, wouldn't it be nice if life was always like that? And it just moved right and came right along at that kind of speed. And you could just fast forward through the boring bits where I get lost. Right. So this is going to be very, very exciting. Here we go. They're after me. Quick. Run the corner. I'm sure. I'm sure we'll get away with it. Shh. They haven't heard me yet. I think I'll be all right. No. They're after me. Hey! Hey! I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him. No, you're not. No, you're not. I'm going to get him. Yes, I am. Oh no! No! Thank you, the random genre generator for making me write action music, which I really didn't have in mind this afternoon, but there we go.
we're done. We've managed to create whatever it is, a minute action kit. Action normally takes a lot longer than anything else. How long does it last? How long is this piece? I don't know. About a minute, I suppose. Well, it starts at eight seconds and it ends up at... I mean, yeah, it's exactly a minute. So, um, it is fairly... I mean, this is sort of hybrid-ish. Um, it is more orchestral than anything else. I mean, it's very difficult doing action differently because it is so kind of... Uh, uh, you know, out of a box in a way, but and it's really down to the detail and trying. I mean, this could be a lot bigger, and it could get. It could get. This could be the beginning of a five-minute chase sequence, which gets huge and ridiculous, and it's got massive brass and God knows what else in it. But you can see the basic gist of it, and this is actually, you know, harmonically, it could not be more simple. It's on one note, probably too simple actually. Um, but anyway, look. I hope you've enjoyed this and you find this useful. And if you have, then leave a comment below and. Um, Remember to subscribe to the channel because then you'll know when we do things like this next time. So from me to you, till next time, farewell. <laughs>